Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is actually my first live video, babe. That's right. This is Southern Singing Kitchen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Southern Singing Kitchen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Southern Singing Kitchen. All right, guys, I just got done doing a light walk around the neighborhood. Uh, I work tonight on a 12 hour shift. Ugh, don't you just hate that? Anybody out there that works nights? Um, I actually love working nights. I'm a night owl. Uh, but the 12 hour shift can be gruesome. So I want to be able to do a healthy juice and I'm going to make a healthy dinner. Uh, generally when I get up before work, I'll make a breakfast or something like that for myself, even though it's not uh, actually nighttime, uh, it's breakfast for me because it's me just waking up. So, but what I'm going to do for my juice, I actually have pineapple. We have a papaya. We have oranges, red apples, and a lemon and i'm going to actually do two limes so that's going to be my uh juice that i'm going to do and i'll show you guys live that way you can see how long it actually really takes and then after i do that we're going to put on the stove i have a rack of lamb we have mashed potatoes in the box because it's easy and we're going to do mushrooms with uh green onions from my garlic, my garden. We have onions and then I have garlic again from my brother's farm, Grow Family Network. If you guys do not follow them, go follow Grow Family Network. Uh, that's my brother Three Acre Farm. It's humongous and I'm reaping the benefits of it. And so I'm going to do a nice, I have rosemary too. I have a lot of stuff hanging. This is basil. I have a uh, mint and over here you can't really see. Let's see if I take it off. I have a fresh rosemary from my own garden that I'm going to use inside of the uh, lamb in the skillet. And you guys know I like to cook with cast iron skillets. So let's get to juicing first and get this out of the way. How y'all doing today? This is my first live. Let me know if you guys can hear me clearly. Um, and actually see me clearly as well. So normally when I do my um, cutting and stuff, I'll, I move the camera so y'all can see how I crazily cut my fruits. <laughs> so I'm gonna move the camera uh, or the thing, hold on. And then I'll put it back up. All right, there we go. All right, so I normally just cut everything up at once. Makes it very simple, very easy. Uh, instead of trying to do it all separate. And now y'all can see, because sometimes when I'm doing my other videos and I'm edit editing everything, uh, Sometimes I speed through this actual process. It's not because I don't want you all to see how long it actually takes. It's just, I figure, hey, we already know how to cut it up. So, and this is good for matting the apples because I do like to share the value of why I do certain things. Apples are very good and high in fiber, which is good for our digestive system. Let's do these oranges. Now, if you are blending, because I have a juicer, but I also have a blender. And if I want to keep all the pulp in it, like when I do like my um, spinach, I'll actually use my blender because I don't want to lose, you know, really anything. So I'll do a blender instead. I'm only chopping this up so that it's easier to put in the machine. Each juicer blender is different. So know yours. And the reason I'm taking the um, peeling off 
is because it's very strong. If you try to juice this, you probably can, but it's kind of very strong. So I wouldn't. Here. I might even turn on a little music or something, guys. Or I can sing something. Either way. Used to spend my nights out in the ballroom. Liquor was the only love I've known. But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom. Draw me back from being too far gone. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy, babe. Honey, I, I stay stone on your love oh, all the time. A fun fact about me is I love country music. I am a music head. So I really love all kinds of music. I think the only music that I have not been able to grasp would be heavy metal rock and roll. Uh, it's just loud. It's just really loud. Um, but everything else, country, bluegrass, R&B, um, rock, like a little Tina. Oh, what's love got to do? I say got to do with it. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? It may seem to you that I'm acting confused when it's close to me. If I tend to look days, I read it someplace. I've got calls to be. There's a name for we. There's a place that feeds, but whatever the reason, you do it for me. Oh, what's love got to do? Got to do with it. What love, but a second-hand emotion. What love got to do? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? That's an actual deep, deep song. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. You do it for me. Oh. Somebody said, Yes, sing for us. I'm just saying that because I didn't have the um, chat up. Now, I see uh, a lot of people do the. Uh, I could do this like this, really. Chop up stuff like differently online. I don't know why I chop certain things the way I do. I just do it. I actually collect knives. I've always loved knives ever since I was a little girl. So I have like all kind of knives. But I can kind of use any knife to do what I want. What's a song y'all want me to sing then? Well, I guess it has to be something I would know, too. And then I'm going to cut off the end piece that I don't want. And the this is such a pretty fruit, like, 
Papayas are, and they're so tasty too. My dog is down here. He's a Yorkie. Yeah, I don't want to just put that right there. Oh, I can put it here. I have a Yorkie. His name is Priest, which is funny, but he loves uh, apples. And if you have a um a spoon, you can dig this out with a spoon too. I use my stuff for all kinds of stuff. Yes. I'm cutting this up as if I'm eating it opposed to me just putting it in the juicer habits. How are y'all doing today? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all can share this uh, live. I'm trying to think, do I want to use this whole papaya or a piece of it? I think I'm going with the whole thing. I could always use this again for in the morning. Uh, I need a food. This fruit used to give me the creeps because of the seeds. Like I just couldn't get past the little seeds looking like a little beehive or something. I don't know if y'all checked out my previous video uh, with the kids. We made pasta, Alfredo pasta. That's their favorite. Shy actually likes the shrimp pasta but we added beef to satisfy her. Blue looks good on the sky. Looks good on that neon buzzing on the wall. But darling, and don't bat your eyes. I'm telling you. You don't need that guy. So black and white, stealing your thunder. Cause baby blue ain't your color. Oh no. Yes. I can see you over there drinking that, sitting that far. I'm almost finished with this, y'all. I actually can just turn it on and start the process. Mm. All I have left to cut is the pineapple. Again, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If y'all have anything or any suggestions on what y'all would like to actually see, uh, you said, wish, I wish I could have the possible pasta. Well, you can have the pasta. We actually uh, used, uh, maybe you could try using like that brown um, uh, wheat pasta. I don't actually notice a difference in the taste of wheat pasta. I actually like it. I've given it to the kids and they don't even know the difference. Or maybe you can try zucchini pasta. How uh, If you're a gardener or something and a lot of people have a lot of zucchini, they can make the zucchini pasta and actually add the Alfredo sauce to it. But the pasta was amazing. They had seconds. That's when you know it's good. When the kids say, hey, can we have some more? If they're not asking for seconds. It was all right. That one little papaya has made a lot. I really only need some for uh, tonight because it is uh, sweet. But the benefits are amazing. We have oranges, which is good and are high in vitamin C. 
which is great for uh, your immune system. We have fiber in the apples. You have this leftover pulp that you can put back into your garden. And just keep recycling. Limes and lemons. That citrus is very good for you. They help regulate your blood sugar. Actual juicer is because it does make a lot of um, a lot of juice better than that old one I had. It wasn't that good? You have compost piles, worm beds. Sometimes they'll tell you it's not very good for um, they, th that the worms don't really like uh, oranges or citrus, but. I'm going to be honest, I put everything in mine and my worms, I haven't, you know, they're eating everything. So I'm not sure how true that is about not putting, adding citrus because I put everything left over in my garden and the worms are enjoying it. And I think the name of this juicer, it's hard to pronounce, but I believe it's called the Aito. It's very good. It's on, I got it off of Amazon. It wasn't expensive. It was like uh, one, $130. Most people spend that on a pair of shoes. So it's really no excuse of why we can't eat healthy or actually know what you're putting into your body as far as like what we drink. I'll say, for instance, I have, um, I went to a function and I wanted to bring, which I'm going to probably stop doing that. I wanted to bring something to drink. So I bought like a store-bought tea. I bought a um, store-bought juice so that the younger kids um, who didn't want tea, you know, could have juice but then when you look at the juice hunt or the sugar content it's not really good i shouldn't have bought it again i'm gonna show y'all ah, i'm running my mouth this is how dry this stuff is it's so hard to come out because it's dry I can actually clip this off. Juice is made. See how easy this was? My juice for tonight is made. Now, I used to, let's be transparent. I know I did a uh, juice previously. Let me wash my hands. I did a previous juice uh, video where I showed you guys I had a strainer and then I strained my juice into the um, little strainer and uh, got the pulp out. But the pulp is very good for use because it's high in fiber. So I know sometimes, I, like I said, I said you could do the strainer if you want your consistency of the juice to be a smooth consistency. But the benefit of allowing the pulp that the machine did not separate, allowing that to stay in the juice is still beneficial for you because it's more fiber. The pulp is fiber, so it helps you with your digestion. It helps you um, break down your food better by having the high fiber state uh, content still in your juice. Let's see.
Now I have, I sell juice um, to close friends of mine and family. And so I have these containers that I got from Amazon that allow you to seal the tops. So So I'm going to show y'all how that works. So this will help you keep your um, your juice longer. I'm going to stir this. Ah, so, so good. Put my top on so I don't make a mess. And pour. Now, this is so much better than going to Smoothie King and stuff like that. Like a Smoothie King, um, because it is a smoothie, Smoothie King adds powder, um, caffeinated. Um, you can get caffeinated energy and stuff like that, but really you can just juice that yourself. Um, like using the fruits and vegetables that you know you grew or that you bought organically or close to organic. Okay, now look at how cool this is. So we have this filled pretty high. So what we do, we push down. And did you hear that? I don't know if y'all can actually hear the click, but it clicks. It's like buying it fresh out of the store. That is so cool. So Trying to see how many it was going to make. And y'all, that's going to taste so good. That papaya and that pineapple. A lot of times when you go to like hotels, they'll have papaya juice or some type of passion fruit juice. You can make your own stuff. And with fruits and vegetables, you can do what you want to your taste, your liking. You may like something. You may see a recipe that I have and then say, well, I don't like uh, celery, for instance. Um, I used to hate celery. But when I combine it with the right thing, uh, when I put celery with ginger and cucumbers, for some reason, it works because it knocks the celery taste out. I believe it's the ginger that does that. The, the ginger is so spicy and strong. Wow. It made six of these. That's amazing. Because if I wanted to, I can do two in the morning, like one in the morning, drink one in the morning, and then one in the evening. Or I can save them. I don't really like saving my juice uh, no longer than three days. Uh, it it uh, oxidizes. So, but let's try this. I'm going to go throw this out or I'll, I'll put a cover over it. I can always do this later. I'll put something over it. And then I will, oh my goodness. So I have this secret. Let me move this stuff. I'm going to, I have some leftover so I can taste it and tell y'all what it tastes like. So, while I'm running my mouth. So, that was so good. It made so much. Y'all know my motto is live in love and love the food that you eat. Love yourself enough to eat right. And so, this, you saw what this was. This is pineapples. Well, a pineapple, a papaya, oranges, lemons, limes, and... Um, Apple. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it is so vibrant. Like, yes, you, I love fruit that looks so good. Um, Matthews asks, do you use it as a meal re replacement? Well, what I found, I'm going to be honest. What I found is the better I eat, the hungrier I am. 
or the faster I am because it boosts, like I said, uh, things that are high in citrus, high in fiber is good for uh, your digestion. So it breaks the food down so fast. So I will eat, drink this in the morning. If I'm on mornings, because I work two week days, two week nights. So if I'm on mornings and I get up in the morning and I drink one of these at four in the morning when I get up, then probably around six, so probably two hours later, I'm starving because my body has processed everything that was still in my gut probably from the night before. So um, I'm hungry. So I know a lot of times people who deal with diabetes, uh, the doctors tell you to eat in portions, but eat often. Um, my mother's a diabetic. So that's where I get some of my hands-on knowledge about diabetes. So um, she would get up in the morning, she may juice, or she may do um, oatmeal with apples, which still is high in fiber. So then probably if she gets up around eight, nine o'clock and do that, then probably around 12 o'clock, she's ready to eat again. She's hungry again, but she may have had a snack in between. So if you do use a juice as a meal replacement, meaning if I eat it for breakfast, still have a healthy snack in, uh, in between lunch, because this may make you still hungry. And I don't like when people feel like they have to starve themselves to be healthy. Uh, being healthy is an actual lifestyle. It's a change of how you actually, or what you eat, that you're not eating, uh, just to consume, you're eating what is necessary for survival. So that's what, that's how I do. I don't just sit there and eat. And I try to eat more fruits that are high in color. That's why I don't like iceberg lettuce. I don't understand it. Um, I like dark green lettuce uh, or the romaine lettuce, which has like a reddish hint to it. Um, oh, thank you, Fit Life with Hannah for that. You're saying great info. Yeah, this is good, y'all. So I'm going to clean up this, put this in a bag. Um, I was going to say, that's what I was going to say, y'all. Okay, so I have been doing a lot of research online. And say we have these uh, papaya um, peelings and this orange peelings and citrus peelings. So if you don't want to put this in your compost, but you want to do a great do DIY um, skin regimen, what I do is I'll take these orange peelings and leave them on my counter. My brother has a dehydrator. I don't have one yet. But if you have a dehydrator, you can um, use your dehydrator and actually dry these out. Once you dry them out, put them in a blender and crush them, add oatmeal to it, crush the oatmeal too, and you can add some type of essential oil, like a rosemary oil, a grapeseed oil, or something like that to your bath water. And then add the peelings. That's vitamin E oil, which is great for your skin. I'll show y'all. Uh, I'll do a video, I guess, once I hydrate, uh, dehydrate some of these. And then I'll show y'all how I actually do it. It's great for your skin. I don't know if y'all see my skin, but it's amazing. And that's what I use. So I'm going to put this in the bag until I can actually get it in a pan and uh, separate it. But I'm going to get a bag for it. I'm all about using what we have to get what we want. A lot of times as uh, females, we are always on the go. Well, we have to learn to take care of ourselves. Um, you don't have to go out and buy all these expensive um products with ingredients that you cannot read. Instead, you can go and get the basics, do an Epsom salt bath. If you have tired muscles, rejuvenate yourself with Epsom salt. Epsom salt also can go into the garden to rejuvenate your garden. So a lot of times uh, I make the comparison of uh, what you can do in the kitchen versus um, basically from the garden to the dining room table, but also back from the uh, kitchen back into the garden. So it's almost the circle of life. Yeah. Keep it going. Like keep it moving. So you could always have you can say hi there. Hi, grow up with Donnie. Um, keep it going. Keep it moving. I'm about to put this up as well. 
And again, y'all can keep these up to three days. I would say three days. And since it made six, I might take two. I might drink one later on after I eat my dinner at work and then in the morning at four something when I'm on the way home. My schedule's crazy. Don't try to memorize it because I've been doing it for so long and I still don't know when it, you know, I have to look on my calendar <laughs> to know what it is. I'm about to get some dirty wipes this now. Now, I, I know a lot of times we don't like to juice because, hey, um, I don't, I don't really know what to put together. But you can start looking online for recipes. You can follow my channel for recipes. A lot of my recipes are based on uh, certain ailments I know people are dealing with. So I try to find what fruits and vegetables can help in different situations. But if you're just wanting to juice to keep a healthy lifestyle, if you don't have any ailments, um, then you can still follow these recipes as good examples. Clean off my counter. All right, I have a different cutting board for my meat which I'm going to get my pots out. Hey, y'all, let me know if y'all want me to start telling y'all about the different teas that I actually use. I have this beautiful teapot. I love hot tea. And so um, I'm growing like different herbs and stuff in my garden. My brother has herbs in his garden. Again, that's Grow Family Network. If y'all not already following them, go follow his page. Um, I have different herbs and I've been looking at how uh, certain uh, cultures look, use tea also at, because of their healing properties. So if y'all want me to start um, showing like some quick videos, they may not be that long, but I'll you know make sure that they're detailed as to why they're good for us and uh, which ones, which herbs you should start growing in your garden. Uh, and also my brother has been gardening now for a while for a few years, but this is actually my first year having my own personal garden. So it's not too late. It's never too late to start. Even if you want to just start growing herbs and actually using it for hot tea, even if you made it as a hot tea and then drunk it as cold tea by adding ice, that's all good too. So we're going to start making dinner. It is 227. I have to be the work. I normally start getting ready for work around three Cute outfit, melon popping in that purple. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I got this outfit from Nobody Left Behind. That's where I get a lot of my um, workout gear. That's Nobody Left Behind. That's N-O. Uh, I think it's, uh, what is that? Like a underline, B-O-D-Y, and then leftbehind.com. That's where I get all of my workout. Because I like their high waist things. So if you do have a belly, which my belly is not flat, um, but if you do have one, it tucks it in, ladies. <laughs> so, okay, let's get to cooking. I'm sure y'all already know how to make mashed potatoes. If not, simply follow the recipe on the box. I don't really like box mashed potatoes, but I do not have, ma I do not have uh, potatoes. Because I normally don't like white starches. I don't like fries. I don't like um, bread. I don't know. For some reason, I just got off of it and I never went back. I used to eat. Um, I'm from the country. I'm from I'm from Opelousas. So I used to eat uh, bread with spaghetti. So, um, which is terrible. The things that we do, that's, that just does not make sense. Starch is already in the spaghetti, and then we we put the spaghetti inside of the bread, and then we smash it, and then we would eat it. It was so good, but it's so not good for us. <laughs> so we're gonna make. I'm gonna add some water, start the ball, and I'm gonna add cheese inside of my uh, mashed potatoes. So let's see. 
And I already told y'all that I do not do um milk. So I just add the extra water. I know it says that you can add milk, but I don't do milk. Anybody know this song? This chicken soup in a song is by NDRE. It is amazing. It says, do butter, milk, the potatoes, and the water. I don't have any milk. Don't matter. I'm going to add. Come on. So I wrote you this chicken soup in a song. May you be cozy and warm wherever you are. Chicken soup in a song. May you be cozy and warm. Wherever you are. Uh, anybody that, hmm, anybody dealing with anything uh, with liver or um, wanting to do like a type of detox for a tea? I have been doing a lot of research with turmeric. That's really, really good for you. My brother gave me some turmeric so that I can grow it myself. So uh, I do a little thing of uh, black tea and then I'll add turmeric, I'll add cinnamon and I sweeten it with agave and I add all to it. You add the all um, because it says for turmeric for your body to actually absorb it, it needs a fat. I'm allergic to coconut, so a lot of people do do it to coconut, but I can't use a coconut, so I'll use a grapeseed oil or an olive oil, and it's great for a detox. You somebody say you better sing. Not even plant-based milk. Nope. I've never gotten into almond milk. I'm allergic to coconut, so unless you guys don't want me here doing my videos, I'll stay away from the coconut milk. Uh when it calls for water. Yeah, I, I don't know. A lot of people tell me about the almond milk. I've even looked at videos on how to make it yourself, like at home, but I I don't know. I used to be a big cereal eater. Like, uh, I just love cereal. Um, but for some reason, I got off of it. And I'm like that a lot. I'll start eating something and I want it all the time. And then all of a sudden, I don't want it at all. It just ruins it. I don't know. Maybe I'll eat it too much. Uh -oh. I'm gonna put all because the this doesn't take long. The, and I, I've never I've, I've I've been watching this uh Netflix series High on the Hog. I don't know if anybody has uh, watched it. It's about uh people and eating and where different cultures um why we eat certain things, but they're saying a lot of people don't eat lamb, which is weird to me because I love lamb chops. And even when I talk to different people and I'll say, oh, I had lamb chop. They're like, oh, you know, um, what is it? I'm in the South. So they're like, always like, oh, you eat lamb chop. You eat big. Okay. That's not big. Because lamb chop, this lamb chop was $14. I can buy some ground beef, $10, uh, some chicken wings, you know, $10, $15. So I don't know. But anybody out there that like lamb, rice, and cashew, Cashew milk is good. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to do a video where I try this different milk. Uh, Donnie, and we gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see if it's what which one is good. But I don't know what else would I even drink milk with.
Okay. All right. Let me show y'all. Let's cut this up. It's, uh, oh, you love lamb? I love it. I just use it for cooking, making chia pudding. Oh, mercy. You can use it for smoothies. You name it. Cool. I went, I've been looking up to the uh, Dr. CB diet and I bought chia seeds. So that's cool. Chia pudding. I'll look that up and maybe do a video on it and let y'all know how it came out. I haven't used them, but I can let y'all know. Okay, we're going to cut our lamb. I used to use um, scissors to cut the lamb, but I don't know where my scissors are. <laughs> y'all thought I was going to get y'all real reason why I stopped. <laughs> nope. Just don't have a clue where they are. Just don't have a clue where my scissors are. And uh, if my mama was watching this, she wouldn't be happy because she would say, they're kitchen scissors. They should be in the kitchen. But I really don't know where they are. <clears throat> if y'all liking my video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't be afraid. Show me a little love, people. Let's see. use it for cooking. I don't have to look into it because a lot of recipes do call for um, milk. And I just don't do it. All right. Now my lamb is chopped. Clean this up. Y'all let me know what y'all be wanting to see. Maybe I could do a lot more live videos than the other ones. As you can see, well, you can't see, but my water is at the ball. And as you can see, I haven't even opened this. I've had this forever, but I haven't opened it. Because I don't need it. Not enough hours in the day. Enough days in the week. Weeks in the months. See, we never get it all straight. We're on planes and trains and buses. Black coastal, yeah, you're global. Your lifestyle has these pluses, but some days don't feel natural. So I wrote you this chicken soup in a song. May you be cozy and warm wherever you are. Chicken soup in a song may you be cozy and warm wherever you are. Chicken soup in a song may you be cozy and warm wherever wherever you are. Chicken soup in a song. May you be cozy and warm wherever you are. Now it depends on if you want um want your potatoes like lumpy. I don't like lumpy potatoes. <laughs> Lumpy mashed potatoes. I really don't like mashed potatoes, but they go amazing with lamb chops. Now, if you are diabetic, a great substitute for mashed potatoes would be mashed sweet potatoes. You can bake the sweet potatoes and then put them on the stove to kind of um, dry, not necessarily dry them out, but cook them with added seasoning. You could do like uh, same thing you would do for uh, a pie. 
So you could do like nutmeg, cinnamon, add a little butter, and that's a great substitute. So let's season this. Chicken soup is so May you be close in your wherever you are. Okay, so I'm gonna go simple because I'm gonna use butter in the skillet instead of uh, uh you could I'm gonna do butter and olive oil. Uh, I'll do the olive oil in the skillet first, then add butter. But this is garlic and herbs. I know normally use Tony uh saturated for everything, but today I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do this with the rosemary and garlic that you guys see me use on everything. This one might not even be open. I have so many of these. This is the one that's open. And again, I always tell y'all, when it comes to this, the rosemary and garlic, I can put as much of this on any type of meat that I have because it doesn't have any salt in it. It's just literally herbs and spices. But this one has sodium. So you have to be careful not to put too much on there. And when it comes to like certain meats like this, you really don't need a lot of salt. And I've washed my hands, so I don't feel like retouching this. The meat. Okay. Chicken soup in a song. May you be cozy and warm. Y'all listening to me. I love me some baked sweet potatoes, but I don't eat sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'm the same, Hannah. No thanks to the... What? For the longest, I only ate sweet potato pie. I would never eat a baked sweet potato. But now I want it baked mashed i love the sweet potato uh fries uh i'll eat it anyway okay so what we're gonna do i'm gonna cut up the onions and i have garlic i'm not gonna cut up the uh parsley i'm gonna actually just cook these whole in it just to give it the aroma and the green onions i'm gonna chop them a little bit so give me a second to get my uh, cutting board for that. Cookie do y'all say no sweet potato pie? Wow, where are y'all from? No sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, baby. My mama's sweet potato pie is so good. I think my brother did a video where my mom made her sweet potato pie and I say her famous sweet potato pie. <laughs> we have an inside joke on how that's what that sweet potato pie do. Baby. And the reason I'm chopping up my onions so small is because I'm actually um, still going to eat the actual onions. Even though I cook them down in the skillet, I'm going to eat them. I'm not just, hey, doing it just to cook with it. I'm actually going to eat it. What kind of songs y'all like? Because in the kitchen, you just sing whatever you feel. What songs do y'all normally sing in the kitchen? Or do y'all sing in the kitchen, so to speak? From Tennessee. 
<laughs> Dang, Tennessee, so sweet potato pie is not like big in Tennessee. I was trying to come to Tennessee in um in July. Y'all know I love gadgets. I actually have a uh, garlic mincer, the garlic presser, where it minces the garlic and shreds it. But this should be enough garlic. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave the parsley. The same. I'm gonna cut up these green onions. Yes, my mom love it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if my mama eats her sweet potato pie. I don't even know if my mama likes the sweet potato pie. Uh, my brother makes an amazing uh lemon meringue pie from Grow Family Network. Uh, amazing. The best. Okay, I'm going to move. Let's move the camera. So y'all can see. Probably still can't see, but and right before I went live, I have uh y'all know the little thing that you put this in. It's like the little pour that you use. It has a little small funnel on it. Well, I broke it right before the video. Is this the right one? Yeah. I have two of these big cast iron skillets. So I'm just basically waiting because I'm waiting on my, uh, I love lemon meringue pie. Love it. I could literally eat well, well, it's the same way with a sweet potato pie. So my mom makes sweet potato pie and she makes everyone their own. And then we eat the community pie. So when we go, I get my pie, set my pie to the side, then we eat on the community pie. With the meringue pie, I get a whole pie. I love them. I wonder, for some reason, my phone is not showing me. Uh, it's not showing me. For some reason, it's not showing me uh, my actual messages. Mm hmm. That's crazy. Y'all, I love gospel music, too. Have y'all ever heard this song? It's Keelante Gavin, No Ordinary Worship. It's amazing. It's like, this ain't no ordinary worship. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. This ain't no ordinary song. They are service greater than the ordinary. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to give it all I have in this moment. Yeah. This ain't no ordinary worship. Yeah. This ain't no ordinary song. Mm -hmm. uh. They are serving greater than the ordinary. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it all I have in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Getting ready for work. And that's the truth. 
cooking with my family, y'all. Y'all, so so uh Bev, my sister-in-law, sent me a uh video of my nephew. Let me see if I can find it. After they did the video here with me, uh, where they were singing Southern Singing Kitchen, well, uh, Lil Zach went home and that's all he uh, was singing. They almost took my little song over. Zachariah, too. Zachariah and Zion. Let's see. Okay, don't start that. Uh, don't start that foolishness, please. Here, let me see if y'all can see. It. I don't know if y'all can see. It. Look how cute, y'all. Uh-uh, David. Uh, David, you make a good, uh, you make a good lemon rain pie, too, baby. Yours, I ain't go, I ain't start no troll, but yours up there is good. Y'all might need to do a challenge. <laughs> Let me be the taste test of both pies. All right, y'all. So basically, I just, the onions uh, take a little while to actually cool down. So not cool down, but to break down. So basically, what I do is I put the onions in my skillet first. Let me change this. You don't need to see all up and up there. Y'all can't see this no way. Let me see if I can just show y'all. So you put the onions in this, this thing. You put the garlic in because garlic goes pretty. It, it, it'll burn fast. And then I put those uh, green onions in there. Now I'm going to just start placing my herbs within there. This is what I was telling y'all. I have, uh, this is rosemary, mint, basil. Hanging to dry. Now, where did I put my meat? Oh. And I don't know if anybody ever uh, made lamb. I cut it thin. And I like the little lollipop version of lamb. Because you don't have to cook it long. I don't really like. Um, what that lamb? Like this lamb steaks. That are so big. You. It's just to be put it like this. You have to worry about it being done. I know a lot of people have their meat to where um, it still has pink in it. Uh, I like it medium well. I don't care what you say. Um, whether it's a uh, you say what's cooking. I'm doing a uh, dinner. It's uh, dinner for work. So I did my juice and then I'm cooking lamb chops and mashed potatoes and i'm going to cook some mushrooms to go with that for work that's what i'm going to eat at work they're probably going to tell me that i'm fancy um at work once i get there eating but hey so i'm gonna peel off some uh, and this rosemary i'm growing rosemary myself which i do have it but i was in my mama house and she has an abundance of rosemary so i'm actually going to use her rosemary and so basically you just take this and you put it in there basically the aroma is what you want going on the meat so i'll use two of those small ones and it depends on how you want to how you want yours cooked meaning uh the doneness of it if you now i'm not saying don't don't burn it, y'all. That's not what it is. Don't burn it. It's lamb. It's supposed to be juicy and soft. I, some people like it where it's just pink in the middle. So you don't have to maybe do like maybe two to three minutes. Somebody else may do four minutes, five minutes on either side. Right now it's 254. They've been in there for probably two minutes. So I'll wait to the four minutes. So at 256. Yes, I'm counting correctly. Just like you a cook a steak, basically. It's lamb. Same thing. What's going to be in your head? Wait, who remembers the lamb chop song? Yes, this is the song that, remember the little lamb used to go like this? 
<laughs> this is the song that doesn't end and it goes on and on my friend some people started singing it not knowing what it was and they keep on singing it forever just because this is a song that doesn't end and it goes on and on my friends hey y'all could do this on a grill too i'm gonna be <laughs> wow this dog is so disrespectful. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to have anything. Usually when I cut up all my fruits and vegetables, I normally give him a piece of apple. Oh, my D mercy. For everybody that missed the beginning of my life, I did a papaya juice. Y'all can go back and watch it, but the papaya juice is papaya pineapple, oranges, apples, lemon limes. Get that more. Piece of work. It was really good. I have this for work. It ended up making six. It ended up making six. Uh, I think those things is, uh, he said enough. I've never heard that ever. Really? How have you never heard that? Ask the kids. They probably have heard it. See? You just turn it over. I don't know if y'all can see. Too good. I know the ones, you know. These. Oh, y'all, look how pretty that is, baby. I don't like when people making food and they start smashing. Like you ever see somebody make a hamburger and then they smash the meat? Oh, uh-uh. You smashing all the juice out of there. You just turn that thing. This one, I think I turned it too. I turned it by mistake earlier. Smash the meat, baby. Just turn it. Don't smash it. You smashing it, smashing all the meat out of the stuff. I mean, all the juice out of it. Oh, y'all, it's going to be so good. My mashed potatoes back there chilling. Chilling. Yeah. What's some stuff that y'all normally, like, eat for, like, a quick lunch? Like, we could do, you know, everybody knows how to do a great salad. Have um, I don't know if y'all do, um, they love the salad that I make when I go do Sabbath dinner at, uh, at the church. Uh, I'll do... Uh, spinach and a mixed green leaf uh, salad and I'll do that with blueberries uh, apples I'll do green apples, red apples and then I'll do almonds and cashews like sprinkled all over the uh, thing so it's really really good when you have those different textures I never thought that I would like fruits and vegetables in my salad like not fruits and vegetables but fruit in my salad but it turns out it's actually really, really good. Wait, I've never heard that before. Beautiful blessings. Oh, shalom. Thank you. And since I made the whole rack, I'll actually have some for later on. It's just me. Um, I'm single so it's just me i live here alone um well don't get it twisted i live here alone but i'm always packing <laughs> i'm just playing but i live alone and so when i make dinner like this like i'm making it for tonight normally i work like just say if i work two nights in a row then me making dinner now is not just for tonight it'll work for tomorrow night as well um me doing my juices it actually made six uh i think those are 12 ounce bottles so if I wanted to do one in the morning and one after dinner or with dinner, then I could for three days. Like I told you, all I don't like to keep my juice longer than three days. It deoxidizes and all of the nutrients are gone. Um, I need to find after this one here. Once it finishes. Y'all, this looks so good. And it's, I wish, see, this is what I understand. We have all this technology. 
but we don't have the technology to where y'all can smell how, how good this food tastes. Like smell how like all the rosemary, the garlic, the onions, the flavor that it's given, baby. The flavor. Oh, you say or pecans. That's true. Or pecans. Some people say pecans. That's my alarm telling me to wake up if I'm still asleep. But I've been up. I've been up for a while. My phone. Okay. I'ma give it all I have in me. What other songs y'all um what other songs y'all like? Like what type of songs? Name some songs I might be able to sing for y'all. Cause this is Southern Singing Kitchen. So while we're in the kitchen, we have to sing. <laughs> Y'all, this looks so good. I'm going to take this one off. I know it's ready. I forgot to add my little butter, y'all. While well, I'm running my mouth. I just add the butter, not that I have to, but the flavor. You don't have to, but that added that added pizzazz, baby. That added pizzazz will do it. Again, we don't smash the meat; we just turn it over. Y'all, this looks so amazing. And when I used to eat pork, because I don't eat pork anymore, but when I used to eat pork, anybody ever had that pork chop and that fat that's on there? The little fat be so crispy when you have a fried pork chop? Amazing. Give me some of that Jackie Deal. Uh, <laughs> we say, no, listen, I had that same alone, but I keep on singing. You know, any, ooh, I love Anita Baker. I'm going to get to Jackie, but I love Anita. I love that song, um, No One in the World. Oh, mercy. I look back on all those good times we once shared. And I must have been blind just to think I found someone new, one who loved me better than you. Well, it may come as a surprise. Loneliness has opened my eyes. I find every road I find. Still, I can't get you out of my mind. Because there's no one in the world to hold me. No one in the world. Me. No one in the world can love me like you do, baby. Every time I'm with someone, I love you as a one of one. I want to run back to your arms again. And no one in the world could love me like you do. Are you happy now in your life? Well, for me, I'm breaking inside for something sure that I could not see. I had it all when you were with me, baby. No one in the world can love me. No one in the world can hold me. No one in the world. Can love me like you do, baby. Cause every time I'm with someone, I love you. You're the one to run. I wanna run back to your arms again. And no one in the world. Yeah, that's my soul. Can love me like you do. Take me back, 
Baby, take me back. Baby, can't go home. And you love me. Not me. Because I'll do whatever it takes just to get you back with me. Yeah. I realize I need you here for all time. No one. Hey, hey, if you brought. I'm from uh, Appaloosa, but New Orleans has that bounce. Whereas no one can love you like me. Hey, life, baby, I got the love that you need. Come on, I'll have a dreams. Ain't no one in the world. Ooh, in this world. That's my favorite song. My favorite song by uh, Anita Baker. Oh, give me some of that Jack and Nia. Uh, let me see, because I don't be having all the words. Still, uh, Jack. My sissy was here. She'd tell you I make up words. <laughs> But I know it's down in the club where my DJ is playing. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Down in the club, oh yeah. Where my DJ is playing. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Mm, having be some good time, yeah. And my favorite spot. Mm. Sipping on some Hennessy, yeah. Mm. With lemons on rocks. That's why we're down in the club. Oh, yeah. When my DJ is playing, go DJ. That's my DJ. Down in the club. Oh, yeah. When my DJ is playing. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Mm. The DJ got me pumping. Mm. Playing my favorite song. Yeah. That's why I love my DJ in the club. It may be girls or it may be boys. That's why we're down in the club. Oh, yeah. Well, my DJ is playing. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Down in the club, oh yeah. When my DJ is playing. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say Mobile, Alabama, yes indeed, we might be cousins. What up, what up? Thank you for singing to my plants. <laughs> grow, 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 yes baby. Uh, I second that. Give me some Jack and Neil. Okay, fit life with Hannah. Let's see, I'm a bit. Go DJ. That's my DJ. Let's see. Uh, by the way, I told y'all I was doing some um uh, mushrooms. So we got sliced baby Bella mushrooms. I basically put that in the same um uh, all that I had cooked my. Let's show y'all how pretty. This lamb chop. If y'all miss while I was cooking that lamb chop, do y'all see this? Let's bring it over to the light. Bring it over to the light, people. Let's see. What I done did. Let's see. Let's move my pop up. We're down in the club. I went to a pop up version. When my DJ is playing. Let's put that light on there. Bam, do y'all see that? That lamb chops looks amazing. Lamb chops look amazing, yeah. <laughs> I can make a song out of anything. And what I basically did was, I don't know why this is going in. in big mode. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, da, do, do. Da 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 
This food is so pretty. I'm about to bite my phone. Guess what I'm talking about? But you can make this yourself. This is so easy. Uh, the lamb chop, the whole rack was like $14. Ladies, if y'all looking to surprise your man with a nice little cheap dinner at home, because I know a lot of people still not going out due to COVID and all that. So if you're trying to just do something at home, or even you're trying to introduce certain things to your kids, get them to help cook. Like I do with the kids. But the only thing about getting the kids to help cook is as y'all can see in that video I did with uh, she, she, and them, she realized I was putting spinach in. So it kind of gave away my secrets of making them eat vegetables. So you can use it as a teaching tool that, hey, you liked it before and you didn't know the vegetables were in there. But they, she actually came back and told me, Auntie, that was pretty good, even though it had the, the spinach in there. The spinach was good. So you basically cook the um, cook the uh, mushrooms down in that same flavor with the meat, and it's a, it's it's good. Uh, I'm going to plate it to see to show y'all, but I'm not actually going to eat it. Well, I can taste I can taste some of this lamb just to show y'all. If they help cook, maybe they'll like it. Yeah, because then they feel like it's no different than in a garden. If you make them grow, say, hey, your job is to grow this particular thing, then they're going to go out and keep checking on it and stuff like that because they, you know, they feel like it's something that they've done. That's a way to get them in the uh, get them in the garden as well. Or get them involved in anything is to show them that hey, this is important. Uh, help me out, but let them do it on their own. They'll have a little pride. Now, the only thing about me testing this, y'all, is I'm gonna want to eat it. You know, by me putting this on the plate, I'm really gonna want to eat this. And I'm supposed to be saving this for work. I'm supposed to be saving this for work. So maybe I'll put a little small one on them. I probably should have had some spinach too, because that'd have been a good uh that'd have been so good. Y'all, this looks so beautiful. It looks so pretty. I am all about presentation. And so I think that presentation is everything. Even when you're doing it for yourself. This is how my saying came about. Live and love and love the food that you eat. Are you related to GFN? Grow Family Network? Yeah, that's my brother and his family. If they help cook it, maybe they'll like it. That food is pretty. Okay, so I'm about to show y'all. I'm going to the, change the light. Is that still cooking? Because it's still sizzling. And show y'all. Excuse me. Hello, everyone. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'm going to show y'all the end result. It's a little weird because I'm doing this on my, um, I'm doing it on my computer. So we have mashed potatoes, which were straight box. You're a gardener and you have your own potatoes, that's better. Or if you are diabetic and trying to get away from white starch, do you a sweet potato, a mashed sweet potato, or a whole sweet potato? And we have uh, garlic, onions, rosemary, uh, lamb chops, the little butter sauce. Just by adding butter, I said butter sauce. That makes it sound fancy. And we have a cooked down mushrooms. So this is my dinner for work. And it's never too fancy of a meal to actually um, cook for yourself. I'm about to eat this. So, and something I noticed at work when I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I noticed that when I eat out with everybody at work, the food is, I'm not even satisfied. And 
because, hey, they're not seasoning it like I like to season it. Um, it's probably rush. Hold on, I got to see my grace. If y'all eating, then we can say grace together. Father, we thank you for this food. May it be helpful, nourishing to our bodies and soul. In your name we pray and ask these blessings be done. Thank you for you guys watching my uh, video today of me finally going live. This is my first live, and I appreciate everybody for joining in. Let's dig in. Okay. My mashed potatoes are good, but they're cold. Let me push this back, then y'all can see. That's so bad. Again, if y'all are uh, dealing with anything with your liver and you're trying to do a detox, turmeric tea is amazing. This is amazing. Y'all, I'm only supposed to be testing. All right, the moment of truth. Put this on. The moment of truth is finally come. I say, nah, nah. You know I'm good. What that is? California raisins. All right, let's go. Mmm. Y'all, my God. Y'all, this is it's so, I had it on that for the perfect time. Wow. Again, like I told y'all, when y'all making lamb, it's the same thing like um somebody said earlier. It's the same thing as cooking steak. So, just mouth watering. But it's the same thing as cooking steak. When you um, put all your seasoning in, put your lamb chops in, you cook them on each either side for maybe two, depending on how thinly sliced they are, two to three minutes, depending on how you want them. Medium, medium well, rare, all that. That's your choice. But I like my medium well. This is perfect. A hint of pink, perfect for me. I want to run out of here. I'm going to eat this. Now, nah, I don't know. I was supposed to say this word. Mm. I wish I could. I wish I could share with y'all. You know, I can say the share button. I wish that would let me give y'all a lamb chop to taste. What's something that y'all want me to maybe um, look into to like do a video, whether it's a smoothie, whether it's a detox or like a hot tea. I'm going to do some summer drinks as well that you can use fruits and vegetables instead of going to the store buying um uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, for instance, I have bought this uh, crayon apple to the function, but it says there are 25 grams of sugar, 24 includes 24 grams of added sugar. So that's a total of 48% of sugar, and that's the serving size in an eight full ounce. An eight full ounces, you have 48% of the sugar you should have in a whole day. That is ridiculous. And then it's the first ingredient, filter water. The second ingredient is sugar. And then cranberry juice from concentrate. So that's not healthy for you or your loved ones. And again, like I said, my motto is live in love and love the food you eat or love yourself enough to eat right. So I'm going to hopefully uh, you guys by watching this channel, uh, I'll show you how to make great, healthy, 
juice, but with natural fruits and vegetables. Uh, Donnie wants low carb meals. Yes, of course. Uh, check out my other video. I don't know if you checked out my other video where I did a uh, low carb um, meal for people dealing with diabetes and stuff like that. But I'll do another one and show you guys uh, other things that I'm using. Uh, somebody else I know that I work with asked me to do a low carb uh, meal prep for them. My dog is uh, not participating today. Y'all, this is a great combination. Mm. I'm going to eat one more. And then I'm going to get ready for work. It's the bite for me. Like, when you bite on the meat and it just automatically just separates. My goodness. Mm. So, Donnie, I take it that you're a gardener, so you're growing like your own stuff. So I'll look into the low carb things that you can grow in your garden, which mostly is like a sweet potato, like a, a zucchini for a pasta, um, things like that. But I'll I'll look more into it. All right, guys, it's 321. I need to go get dressed because I have to be out here for four. As always, thank you for joining me in this video. I enjoyed all of y'all comments. And uh, again, don't forget to hit that like button and share, share, share. As always, live and love and love yourself enough to eat right. Y'all have a blessed day. Did you marinate the lamb first? Nope, I didn't. I cooked it right then and there. But I have... um done the marinating of um my lamb overnight where i'll do a um olive oil i'll do fresh rosemary out of my garden um garlic and onions like chop up the garlics and the onions and put it in a bag put a little uh lemon and put that in a bag and have it overnight uh they uh, um you you can put salt on it but mostly i'll wait and put the, the actual salt on my meat uh, right before I cook it. Uh, but the other season that I want to get in it, the salt helps break down the meat to, not the salt, the um, the lemon helps break down the meat to absorb the uh, fresh seasoning. And then when you're ready to cook it, then I'll put the salt on it probably no, no more than 10 minutes before I cook it. You have an amazing dinner to look forward to. Yes, I do. I already know it tastes good. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, ready to eat it. Uh, thank you. Have a great day at work. Yeah, y'all. Thank y'all so very much for joining. And again, as always, live in love and love yourself enough to eat right. Bye, y'all. I enjoyed y'all and the food is amazing. I'm going to pack the mashed potatoes and more. That was two, so that's not enough. I'm going to have to pack about three or four of those and I'll have something for later. Bye, y'all. <laughs>